let's get to work. Let's see what we have here. We have star aniseed, cinnamon stick, a whole chicken, one whole yellow onions, and a whole ginger. And the goal here is to cut off the two ends of the onions and slice them into two halves so that we'll be heating both up on the pan later. And for ginger, we want to slice them into three or four small slices. That should be good. On medium heat, we want to place the onion and ginger slices in a pan and let it roast for a couple of minutes. Around seven to eight minutes should be sufficient until the onion looks like this. And then you switch side and wait for another seven to eight minutes. And just don't turn up the heat too high. Otherwise, you may start a small fire. <laughs> just kidding, it wouldn't be that bad, but just be careful, please. Now simply add on 2-3 to three pieces of star and seed and 1-2 to cinnamon sticks. Not a fan of cinnamon honestly, but the taste it gives to the broth is marvelous. For me, I personally would cut off the head and legs of the chicken first before putting them into a pot because you may not have enough space. I personally like to fill 3 quarter of the pot with water. Not all the way to the top though, because it runs the risk of spilling once the water boils and the water will ultimately turn into broth with the help of our chicken friend and seasoning ingredients. I'm not sure about you guys, but I do not like onions peel. So make sure to take it off before you put the onions into the broth. And just like that, all of our friends, yellow onion, ginger, star aniseed, cucumber stick, chicken, all belongs under one roof now. And you cannot go wrong with fish sauce in your fur broth because it's one of the most important ingredients, right? So add in two tablespoons into your broth right now. Okay, and let it boil for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes comes my favorite part, removing the chicken from the pot and giving it a nice chopping. I tend to do myself a favor by using a fork to hold the chicken in place while chopping with the knife in my right hand. You certainly do not want to just hold it with your bare hand due to the heat, which will burn you. Now the broth and chicken meat should be ready. Um, what is missing is the base. I like to buy those $3 rice noodle pack from Asian market. One of them can easily give me and Demi 10 bowls of pho for the entire week. I like pho with 1 or 2 beef bowls, but it's entirely optional if you're not into it. Let's fill our empty bowls up with this, this, and this. We absolutely love chicken pho, a great choice for a cold winter snowy day. Two hour well spent, gotta go eat, catch you later. Thank you so much for watching these videos guys. If you want to see more videos like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will hugely benefit us and give us much more motivation to create more videos like this for you guys every week. Also, don't forget about our Instagram and TikTok. We post a variety of contents every now and then. Check it out. See you next time.